enemy number one. Target not averted. Once again, trying to film a YouTube video, and one of these clowns come along with their loud leaf blowers, come interrupting my wonderful award-winning YouTube videos. <laughs> oh God, guys, if you don't get my sarcasm by now, but nonetheless, I can't stand these uh, noisy ass people. So stay tuned and I'm gonna show you one of my antique teddy bear um, extraordinary videos that you're just gonna be riveted and hanging on to your seat. Hang on, let's get them. So here's the moment you've all been waiting for. Again, my awesome, awesome videos. Oh, here goes Grover. Hey, Grover, don't take a pee while I'm doing a video. <laughs> so nonetheless, yeah, Grover likes the photo bomb. Oh my God, these leaf blowers are driving me crazy. This is how you know it's spring. You don't even need the groundhog to come out of the hole. <laughs> All of a sudden, like 600 landscapers come cascading down your block with leaf blowers. So nonetheless, that's New York for you. Very noisy and annoying. So the bear on the right is probably from the early 1930s, possibly like 1929. Oh God, here goes another airplane. God, leaf blowers, airplanes. This is, again, this is good old New York for you. You can't have five seconds apiece. So these two are Knickerbocker bears from Brooklyn, New York. And actually, it's pro probably like the reason why I collect them because I'm a Queens, New York border person. I was born there. Now I live in Long Island, which is another story. But nonetheless, so Knickerbocker um, made these type of bears starting, I believe, in 1925 or 1921, something like that. Now, the bear on the right is the earlier of the two. It has glass eyes. So let's take you to, you know, take a look at that. Now, the bear on the left is probably mid-1930s, 1935, I'd say. And it has tin eyes. So the eyes are actually painted tin discs. I don't know if you could see that. But that's how you can tell you have a 1930s Knickerbocker bear. Another telltale um, design that they had was these velveteen paw pads. And the earlier ones had felt paw pads. And so you can see the earlier one has much longer arms. And there goes Grover again. Grover, come on, man. Hey, Grover, beat it. <laughs> he needs a haircut. So uh, they are fully jointed. They have uh, swivel heads and swivel arms and legs. They're really, really cute, aren't they? My goodness. So, yeah, so I thought I'd show you them. And uh, the reason why I really do like them is because they're like New York bears. And pretty much, like most of you by now, have hit the back button because I know my New York accent's a little annoying. But nonetheless, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And if you like antique and vintage toys and just antiques in general, stay tuned into my channel because as I get interesting things, I'll show you them in videos. Thanks for watching.